Let's take a look at another uh, sample program, which is um, interesting in itself because it's using a table of labels uh, that we can jump to uh, from our uh, data uh, structure right here, from the array of memory addresses uh, in the code segment. So once again, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just take what I have uh, in my data segment. I'll use this jump table for demonstration like this and I'll just uh, copy uh, this section of the demo code and replace my main procedure with this demo code so I'll just uh, replace the the old uh, sample with the new one like this okay so let's take a look now also the sample is using uh, input output module to display these uh, st uh, strings on the screen. I actually will probably just uh, uh, ignore these output statements. I'll just uh, uh, ignore them completely. I just get rid of them. And so we'll just follow the sequences of jumps instead because we can run this program in debug mode. So uh, this uh, new sample demonstrates sort of like a, a, a analogy to a switch statement in a high-level programming language. So we begin our uh, main procedure. And what we're loading into register EBX is the size of double word. So let's do this uh, calculation. The size of double word is 4 bytes. We multiply 4 bytes by 2, and so that's going to be 8, uh, um, the value should be 8. So EBX will contain the value of 8 when we're done with this move instruction that does this computation. So what, the, what this corresponds to is, uh, of course, we have this jump table right here, and it's a table of double words. So each double word contains uh, four bytes. Okay, so we're just going to have this uh, table or of four byte size uh, double words. And um, what we do here is that we simply store directly the offsets of label one, two, and three, which are offsets in their respective uh, segment, the code segment. And so, so these will be the addresses of, uh, of these places in the program. So basically we get this address here and this address right here. And then we get this address uh, right here. So if you take this jump table, right at the beginning of this jump table is label 1. And it's, uh, it's located at offset 0 from the beginning of uh, jump table. The label 2 here will be stored at the location plus, uh, plus uh, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Okay? And then, um, so this is plus 4, and plus um, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Right? So, so offset 8 is the um, location of this element in our table which is label 3. So uh, what uh, I'm expecting here to happen is that when we say jump based on this uh, uh, index 8 uh, combined with the jump table, this is the combination where we say, okay, uh, we need to uh, jump to the location um, um, based on, on one of the elements in this table. And it just happens to be that because EBX is set to 8, we're selecting this place. So therefore, I'm expecting that from here we should be jumping to label 3. And uh, so we can experiment with uh, with different values right here. So let's let's compile this code right now. Uh, build and uh, it appears that uh, I cannot uh, initialize it uh, like this anymore. I used to be able to do this in prior versions of uh, of this assembler environment. So anyway, I'll uh, replace it with uh, 
uh, manual initialization. So here we can just say that we want to have three uh, duplications uh, of uh, question marks. So we're just going to create table of three double words. And here we'll just uh, populate the table like this. Just have to uh, move into register EAX uh, uh, the offset uh, of each label and store it in this jump table. So we'll move into jump table. Mm, I guess we can use the syntax uh, index zero. We're going to uh, we're going to save the register EAX. Uh, and then we're just going to repeat this three times for label two and three. So this will be label two loaded and it will be loaded at offset four. And label three will also be loaded into AX and stored at the location with offset number eight. So this way we will initialize this uh, three times. So from this point on, this should work better. Okay, so it uh, runs fine. Uh, I mean, it assembles the code just fine. So let's just step through this code very quickly. Um, and again, I'll use debug um, step into or F11. So here I just press F10 a few times. So we should populate our jump table with uh, locations of three of these labels. And uh, so now the EBX, of course, let's just save you. Uh, debug windows um, uh, registers. So this is a set of our registers. As we predicted, EBX is loaded with uh, value 8 right here. And so what we're going to do is, is jump based on the location stored in this table at offset 8. So I'm expecting that we should be jumping to label 3 uh, using this jump instruction. So F10, there we go. So we just uh, jumped right here. So uh, this does demonstrate how we can uh, uh, um, uh, create a table of memory locations and use uh, some sort of index uh, to uh, make these jumps. There isn't a restriction, however, that this index that we need to combine with the, uh, with the table name in memory, um, of course, it's a table of double words, uh, and this jump only will allow us to use uh, the base uh, register, um, EBX, uh, to, to, do the, uh, to, to compile it properly. So you can try to replace EBX with a different register and see if it works for you. Um, I'm just going to leave, it, uh, leave this example as is with, uh, with this uh, current version. So debug, stop debugging.